All right, everybody, let's take a look at Magneto from the Marvel Legends Colossus Build-A-Figure Wave. Of course, the only figure that I have in the wave just also happens to be a figure that doesn't come with the Build-A-Figure part, but that's okay because I'm not going to build out this, uh, this Colossus. So he's really awesome, but I'm going to pass. I'm feeling this piece of art. It is really chill on the side. It is actually kind of like a mirror image, but this one has uh, Apocalypse behind Magneto. Magneto, Magneto casts off his anti-human sentiments and carries on Xavier's dream of peaceful coexistence, thereby founding the X-Men, really? So, hey, good guy Magneto. Let's get him out of the box. All right, let's take a look at Magneto, Marvel Legends. In terms of articulation and points of articulation, it is the standard stuff for Marvel Legends. He is missing the butterfly joint that would give him that additional range, but there is a slight compensation for that, if you will, in the shoulders. They go past 90 degrees, and I'll show you that in a bit. He has the double hinged or the double jointed elbows, the double jointed knees, the thigh cut. He's got the, the, the waist cut. He's got the ab crunch. And in the head, you're not going to get much articulation at all. You'll get some rotation left and right, but not much up or down. Pretty much not at all. We'll take a closer look at that too. Standouts for this figure in terms of articulation are the remarkably uh, dynamic hinges in the ankle, I should say. Um, they have tremendous range forward and back. And we're gonna look at that also as we do action poses in play today. I like the pose that we got started out with. He has his two open emotive hands kind of pulled back as he is drawing upon some power force or some power energy there. And you see the effects around his gauntlets. So these pieces are accessories that came with him. We'll look from the other side, extremely shiny cape. Super stiff. I mean, this thing is stiff and it's pretty heavy. It will pull him back. But thankfully, you've got super range in these ankles to create uh, balance. Very beautifully de designed and sculpted hair here in the back, which is also super stiff and going to stop you from rotating that head up or down. So really, really nice. Here's a look from the front. Really quickly, while we're here looking at the figure from the front, you notice that his eyes are kind of whited out. And I'm noticing that it might be that the paint was applied and missed. I don't know if you see those two dots that are pretty much on the eyebrows. I wonder if that was intended to be the two center of his eyes and they just missed the mark and the paint went on the eyebrows. I'm not really sure. But if you look at the eyes, it seems like they have mascara on the top eyelid and then beneath they're just whited out as if he were just about to pass out and had just gotten knocked out or something. I don't know. Um, so that's kind of like a, a goof on the paint. Not sure if everybody's Magneto has that. Haven't really had a chance to see any uh, reviews lately. So uh, yeah, hope your figure doesn't have that issue. But otherwise, very cool. Magneto also comes with an additional head and this is my preferred head sculpt the hair in the back is also beautifully sculpted it has a nice wash and it is super duper stiff i mean urgh. magneto also comes with two fists these fists can be used for fist bumping or punching or whatever you like and these also have the lateral hinge so he'll get this motion here with the fists and the open hands Pretty chill, pretty chill. Let's go ahead and look at the standout points of articulation that I was referencing. So in the ankles, up oh, as I lose some of these power effects, very cool, love the color. In the ankles, you're gonna get a tremendous amount of range forward. I mean, that's like Spider-Man level articulation, right? And then backward, look at that, you know? 
So you're going to get a tremendous amount of dynamic poses out of this guy. And I'm going to try to do that with you today on this video. You've got the waist twist that I mentioned. And it's hidden by this little plastic piece, which I like this feature on the figs. Very nice. And in the shoulders, I'm going to pop the head off so you can see it. Because the rigidity of this cape is totally going to hinder posing. I mean, totally. I can get some action here, but here, psh, I mean, good luck, you know? And then this is also hard plastic, these shoulder pieces. So it sits really nice, and he looks great with it on, but you're not going to get the arms up over that. So for the sake of that, just take that off. And since we took off the cape, let's go ahead and switch the head out. He feels sturdy. He feels strong uh, in every point of his articulation. My, my only thing with Legends figures is these joints at the knees, you know? They're so soft right here. You know, you could just very easily bend and they're just, there's a lot of give in a lot of the figures. You know, in his case, it's not terrible. But you can just sense that it's just a soft plastic, you know? Uh, the arms, despite the fact that that joint is smaller, they feel stiffer. So, yeah, just a little pet peeve, I guess. Get that back on there. But overall, very cool articulation. The shoulders go past 90 by a little bit. And the ankles just, man, they just go all over the place. So let's go ahead and get his cape back on as we go through some action poses in play. And then I'll also get a couple of cool poses in with the unhelmeted head. That's what I like to do with multisyllabic words. I like to slow them down when I'm stumbling over my words. Just slow it all down, man. All right, so let's go ahead and get some cool poses out of this guy. Wow, take, take a look at that. That is what I mean about the amazing range in these ankles. Because he's able to get so far forward on that back ankle with that foot, you're able to get an amazing pose here. And that's really important because I have a center of gravity leaning him this way to compensate for the weight of the, of the cape. You know, so also in the front, we're using the ankle rocker. And I've got the boot cut rotated out a little bit with the thigh cut rotated in a little bit. Uh, and we've got a really awesome looking dynamic pose there, right? And even though this is a super stiff cape, there is no give in it. We've got a situation where it looks like it's windswept. Oh, almost knocked him over. So that's like really chill, you know? Very nice pose. I'm liking that. Can't really see much action from this side, but still you see the cape waves and the shadows created by those waves and, and ripples in the cape. Very, very nice. I am feeling this. Oh, right there. Right there. Very cool. Adjust that a little bit. Oh, very nice. Bam. Got him. Let's adjust that a little bit. Kind of like that. All right, let's see what else we got going on. All right, here we have him reaching out, leaning on his forward leg. The cape is creating problems here with getting him lower to the ground because it's so stiff. It's just impossibly stiff. I, I, I wish they really would have gone with a softer cape. They have other figs where their capes are made of a more pliable material. I wish they would have done that with Magneto here because he's just such a top level character, you know. Let's take a look at something else, but I'm going to swap out the... Helmeted head, the helmeted head, and get the unhelmeted head. So what I want to do here is I want to try to collapse the hinge as far into the chest joint as possible. See that little curvature on the inside? So I want to rotate the hinge up a little bit so that I can collapse the arm as far across the chest as possible. Then I'm going to rotate the bicep cut, and then I'm going to angle the fist downward on that hinge. 
And I'm gonna try to get him looking down his bracer as if he were aiming that force blast directly. There we go. Directly at us. <laughs> Yeah, there we have it. Looking right down his gauntlet, right over that center knuckle there. As if he was going to blast. Nice, nice, nice. Different look on that side. The sculpt work on him is really, really awesome. I like the matted nature of the red on his uniform. It allows for the shadows to seem more pronounced and draw more attention than if the red were glossy like this, you know? And it would reflect so much light that it would kind of like take away from all the really nice shadow work here. I like these poses with a drawn back hand. Cool stuff. Let's see what else we can do here. Yeah, definitely the most unnatural pose of all the poses that I have for him. I wanted to do a pose that kind of gave the impression of him drawing on kind of like a, a nice firm base to get ready and unleash a super powerful blast. But it's kind of neutralized by the weight of the cape, which pulls him back. So it doesn't allow me to adjust his center of gravity and make the pose look a little more natural, you know? That's that's not the end of the world though. It still looks kind of cool and set up in a scene with some other figs, it might look a lot nicer. All right, let's try to get one more pose out of our friend here. And then... All right, for this pose, as simple as it is, I kind of wanted to evoke that feeling of Magneto when he's drawing up and getting ready to levitate with his arms, you know, kind of like outstretched beside him and, and, and drawing upon, I guess, you know, magnetic powers or whatever, the magnetic field of the earth or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to evoke here. It looks kind of cool. I like it, uh, especially how I'm able to angle the head a little bit forward. You see that? So that it's looking straight. So that's pretty cool. And the cape is resting flush behind him. Lots of fun. This is a super articulated figure because of the ankle joints. So that's that's really, really awesome. And you're going to get some really nice poses out of him, especially if you're working without the cape. So let's see if we can do that standard superhero pose where they're kind of like drawing that hero landing or whatever they call it. All right, because of the hair, I'm not gonna be able to get his head up with his eyes looking at us, but that is the best that I could get out of the superhero landing pose. And this is a superhero Magneto because he's now united the X-Men, you know? So I don't know anything about that storyline, but here he is. Not very, very cool, very cool. I'm liking him very much. I'm just cracking jokes here. I like that angle right there. Very nice. I'm feeling that angle right there. Let's see. Oh, that little adjustment right there makes all the difference. Very nice. Very cool. Very, very nice. I'm feeling this, dude. If anybody uh, knows the comic book run, if there is a comic book run that talks about the storyline of this Magneto and how he went on to unite the X-Men, please drop it in the comments. I, I would love to learn about it. I have a modest collection of comic books myself. Comic books myself. So yeah. All right, we've got Magneto fully suited up and center screen this guy was a nice surprise it is not 
a figure that was on my highly anticipated list by any means. I just kind of like Magneto. I missed out on the Mafex Magneto, and I kind of thought to myself, you know what, as I build out my Marvel Legends, this is a nice fig that I'd like to have in the collection to display. Uh, and he was a nice surprise. I'm very happy to have him. He has some really awesome articulation, thanks to those joints in the ankles. And he was a lot of fun to share with you guys today. As always, I'm having a ton of fun re-experiencing what it's like to collect toys, but now as an adult. I hope you're able to come back and share some experiences too. Until next time, everybody. Take care.